Let's get right now to the secret tapes from the campaign trail. It's your voice, your vote, with just 49 days to go. ABC's David Muir, as we said, is here. And David, no apology for Mitt Romney at that late night press conference, but he did say that his words were inelegant. Inelegant is exactly how he described them, George. In fact, he stood by the words last night. The argument that he made behind closed doors in front of a group of wealthy donors describing the kind of voters, nearly half of Americans, that in his words, it's not his job to worry about. Overnight, Mitt Romney in California, walking up to the podium with a forced smile in a rare and hastily arranged press conference. Good evening. Uh, I understand that there's a, uh, a video that's been on the Internet for a few weeks that has uh, attracted some attention. That video posted in clips by left-leaning Mother Jones magazine showing Mitt Romney in the circle there speaking to wealthy donors at a fundraiser about the 47% of Americans that he says it's not his job to worry about. There are 47% of the people who vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's it's an entitlement, and the government should give it to them. And they will vote for this president no matter what. He says they don't pay income tax, and because of that, his message of lowering taxes doesn't resonate. And so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. What I have to do is convince the 5 to 10 percent in the center that are independent. And then a joke. Romney pointing out that his father, the one-time governor of Michigan, was born in Mexico to American parents. Had he been born to Mexican parents, Romney's chances now? But he was born in Mexico. And uh, had he been born of, of Mexican parents, I'd have a better shot of winning this, but he was not. <laughs> Romney even shares the strategy of carefully using his wife, Anne, on the campaign trail. They use Anne sparingly right now so that people don't get tired of her. Whoever has released the snippets would... I'd certainly appreciate if they released the whole tape and so we could see all of it. Overnight, Romney standing by his words. It's not elegantly stated, let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, and I'm sure I could state it more clearly and in a more effective way uh, than, I, than I did in a setting like that. Now we know some of those donors paid $50,000 to get into that fundraiser in Florida last May. In the tapes, Romney talks about the donors, about the kind of words to those donors he uses to try to pull in independents who might have voted for President Obama last time, saying that those independent voters, in his words, love to hear the phrase, he's in over his head when talking about the president. The question, George, is are they going to like hearing that behind closed doors?